And we welcome you into GoMustangSports.tv and the Stevenson Athletics YouTube page. It's the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show. We're here with the head coach of the Stevenson Mustangs, Ed Hoddle, talking Mustang football and coach season opening uh, victory against St. Vincent. You come home for the first time, able to knock off Salisbury after reviewing the film, uh, an emotional game. Uh, what's kind of your final assessment of of an energizing uh, victory for the Mustangs? Uh, it was a great win for us, obviously. Um, but looking at it, the emotional part is something that we have to manage better. Um, you know, we took the field on the final drive of the game with 10 guys. Um, you know, we've got to be able to mature and grow and understand that we can't be distracted by emotion. Um, so, it, you know, it gives us things to work on. It gives us things to improve upon, which is certainly important at this stage of the season. So, so as a coaching staff, what kind of goes into managing emotion? Obviously, you're talking about some young players, 18 to 20 year olds. Uh, how does that process work kind of from a coaching staff trickling it down to your players to say, hey, we've got to be able to sort of ride that emotional wave? Well, if you have any tips, I'll take them. Um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's an ongoing challenge. You know, it's it's understanding that in the storm, so to speak, you have to remain calm. You still have to go out and execute. And, and we talk about it a great deal. We talk about it in, in, in the team setting in group settings and in individual settings. So it's just a constant reminder that no matter what's going on around you, we still have a job to do. Let's take a look back at that game. Uh, obviously, uh, back and forth in the first half and in the second half, your team really came out with kind of a different level of intensity, so to speak, especially on the defensive end. Uh, was there any particular thing that maybe changed from half one to half two? Or how did your team, you know, sort of be able to ride that storm and, and come out and deliver like you did on the defensive end, forcing three turnovers, holding them to under 40 yards rushing in the second half of onto triple option attack? What kind of went into the success that you had on the defensive end in the second half? Well, I think that you look at the first half and it was a lot of adjusting to the speed of the triple. Um, our scout guys did a phenomenal job all week, but they're not Salisbury. And you know, when you see it real for the first time, it was fast for me to even follow. And I've watched, you know, a ton of film, you know, leading up to Saturday. So, you know, watching it unfold in person is very, very different than seeing it in practice. So I think as you go through the game, you get adjusted to the speed of it. I think our guys did a great job um, making adjustments at halftime, you know, a few schematic things that we changed. Um, they did a great job doing that. And, and I think they really started to believe in themselves that, okay, we can, you know, we, we'd had some stops in the first half, you know, in, and adjusting to the speed and started to believe that they, that, that we can play, you know, that, that, that some of this stuff is, it's not that hard. Just do your part. Um, and we talked about that all week is just do your job. Don't do the guy beside you's job just do your job and you know I think they really bought into that and I think we played with some confidence in the first in, in the second half that I didn't necessarily see in the first half flipping it over to the offensive end really some success in the passing game in the first half obviously with senior quarterback Ryan Sedgwick setting the new career touchdown passing record here at Stevenson uh, he's a veteran guy and you were able to get different receivers involved in addition to Steven Smothers as well uh, what sort of led to that game plan of being able to distribute the ball around offensively and uh, kind of use the run to set up the pass and vice versa? Well, I think, you know, people are going to zero in on Steven. You know, he's an easy guy to find. He's he's a big target for us. And, you know, we work that throughout the week, you know, that, that people are going to work to take Steven away. And we've got to have other guys step up. And, and they did, Amir and Brandon, and those guys did a remarkable job. And, and Ryan understands that we've got to distribute the ball. You know, we've got to be able to throw the ball around a little bit, you know, again, setting up the run, the run setting up the pass. And, um, you know, that was kind of the plan all week was to, to spread the ball around, be multiple as we could be on offense. And, you know, defensively, they're, they're a good unit. You know, I, I Coach Suspendent over there does a remarkable job. Um, I mentioned this, you know, post game, they run the same thing that we do um, all the way down to the nuts and bolts. And so we had some familiarity. We, we kind of knew and, um, you know, what could what hurts and, you know, what's tough to cover. And, and I think we did a good job of taking advantage of some of the experience that we gained, you know, throughout the preseason going against our guys. And then I'd be remiss not to mention special teams as well. Obviously, some big plays in the kickoff return game. The PAT game was a little bit more shored up. Um, that's another phase of the game that uh, when you're beating a ranked team like that, all three phases have to contribute. 
that's exactly what happened. Uh, what was your assessment of the special teams play? I thought we were solid. You know, aside from um, the couple of penalties we had that, that, that took away some of the return yardage, I thought they were vastly improved from the prior week. Um, you know, Brody, you know, goes out and goes five for five, you know, when he'd struggled last week. And, you know, really proud of his ability to kind of bounce back from that. That's a tough thing for a kicker, you know, to miss two extra points and, you know, kind of put us in a little bit of a bind last week, but then to rebound this week and, again, be able to manage the emotion and, ma and manage the situation for himself and go out and go five for five and you know and, and handle the pressure that we put on him throughout the week because um we put some pressure on him during the week in a sense that you know he's a senior he's got to go out and kick and um you know and he's got to be successful so he did a nice job kevin did a great job punting the ball um you know they had blocked a punt you know in week one so we you know we had our hands full from a you know a punt protection perspective we, we tweaked some things and, and did some ni nice things there and you know coverage wise i thought we were pretty solid i think there's still some things we can improve upon in in the teams uh but again you know big step forward for us proud of the effort and now as we turn the page to alvernia that's a group with a new head coach coming in here as we begin conference play played really well against Oberlin for three quarters and had to kind of hold on for a victory. Uh, what has your assessment been uh, looking at the Golden Wolves so far this week? Well, I think you, you, you look at them and, and it's easy to see the recent history. Um, but when you start to really delve into who they are, there's a lot of experience on that football team that plays. Um, you know, I think that the, the new head coach and I are actually really, really good friends. Um, spoke to him this morning. Um, you know, he's going to do a great job. You know, he's doing a great job, and, and, and he's going to really do a good job building their program. Um, I'm excited for him ex every Saturday except for this one coming up. So, um, you know, they're an experienced football team. There's a lot of snaps and a lot of minutes under their belt, and, and I would expect them to be ready to roll Saturday. All right, that is the head coach at Hoddle. We'll have Stevenson and Alvernia coming up here on GoMustangSports.tv, also on Stevenson Athletics YouTube. Appreciate you being with us, and Coach, we'll see you next week. Thank you.